how can you calculate the energy of an orbit or energy of a stationary state or energy of an energy level by using the expression en is equal to minus rh into 1 by n squared joules here rh is known as rydberg constant its value is 2.18 into 10 raised to minus 18 joules Earlier, you have studied that the value of Rh is 109677 centimeter inverse. Now, Rh is expressed in joules. So, that is why the value is different. Here, since Rh is expressed in joules, its value is taken as 2.18 into 10 raised to minus 18 joules. So, for hydrogen atom, what will be the energy of the first orbit? The energy will be equal to minus 2.18 into 10 raised to minus 18 into 1 by 1 squared joules. So, that gives you the energy of the first orbit as equal to minus 2.18 into 10 raised to minus 18 joules. In a similar way, we can calculate the energy of the second orbit. Here, take the value of n as equal to 2. So, we get the energy of the second orbit as equal to minus 2.18 into 10 raised to minus 18 into 1 by 2 squared. That gives you the energy of the second orbit as equal to minus 0 0.545 into 10 raised to minus 18 joule. Energy of the first orbit of hydrogen is equal to minus 2.18 into 10 raised to minus 18 joules and that of second orbit is equal to minus 0 0.545 into 10 raised to minus 18 joules. Consider these two values. Out of minus 2.18 into 10 raised to minus 18 and minus 0 0.545 into 10 raised to minus 18 which is lower minus 0 0.545 into 10 raised to minus 18 is lower than minus 2.18 into 10 raised to minus 18. That means energy of the first orbit is lower than the energy of the second orbit. So as the n value increases, the energy will also increase. Therefore, if an electron is in the k shell, that is n is equal to 1 the electron will be very close to the nucleus and the energy will be the lowest. As the n value increases, the uh, electron will be away from the nucleus and its energy will also be higher. The energy expression is given a negative sign. You know that energy En is given as equal to minus Rh into 1 by n squared joules. So what does that negative sign mean? The negative sign means that the energy of the electron in the atom is lower than the energy of a free electron at rest. A free electron is an electron that is infinitely far away from the nucleus and the energy is assigned to be zero. Therefore, when n is equal to 1, the energy will be the lowest and therefore we can say that the first orbit will be the most stable orbit. Bose theory can be applied to ions containing only one electron. For example, helium ion He plus, lithium ion Li2 plus, beryllium ion Be3 plus. And for these species, energy is given as En is equal to minus 2.18 into 10 raised to minus 18 into Z squared by N squared joules, where Z is the atomic number. For helium, Z is equal to 2. For lithium, Z is equal to 3. For beryllium, Z is equal to 4. And the radii is given by the expression Rn is equal to 52.9 N squared by Z picometer. Explanation of line spectrum of hydrogen. Start with delta is equal to E final minus E initial. Divide the delta E expression on both sides by Planck's constant H to get the expression in terms of frequency nu. And finally, to get the expression in terms of wave number nu bar, divide the expression for frequency nu on both sides by C, the speed of light.
that's all for today thank you